Hi everyone, it's Jen. I'm at the tail end here of making my RODI water. I figured I'd take a video before I forgot because it'll probably be a little while before I'm doing this again. As you can see, the unit's been running for 17 hours and 27 minutes. This is an Aqua FX RODI unit. Um, we got the octopus. It does do a 4 to 1 ratio, so there's a lot less wastewater. Um, and here is the tote that I stored. And this is my garage, so I can afford the space in here. This one holds 250 gallons right there, so it does hold more than that. Um, we installed a ball valve in here, so once the water level kind of rises, that bubble will come upwards, it'll create pressure and automatically shut the unit off. Got that mounted to the wall. And inside the tote, we've got a submersible pump, which I've got here, a little ball valve, so I can haul that right into the landing inside my house and fill up all my buckets so that I don't have to go up the stairs hauling five gallon buckets full of RO water. We originally were using this lower thing here, the outlet with a hose, figuring that um, gravity you know, would just let the water flow out, but it took forever to fill a five gallon bucket. So we decided to go with the submersible pump. Now, here in South Carolina, we have pretty soft water. Um, however, you know, with my first aquarium, I kept having really bad uh, diatoma algae. And after doing a lot of research on the internet, um, a lot of signs pointed that silicates might be a problem, so I purchased a silicate test kit from Salifertz, and it came back with a reading of 7.8 parts per million. So I knew right there that we had to do something about the quality of the water, and so, you know, these are usually used for salt water systems, um, but figured if we strip the water and have 100% pure water, we can just mineralize um, to our liking and that opens up a lot of different species of, uh, you know, all kinds, whether it be hard water, soft water uh, species, because then we can just tailor exactly the water that they need. So this is my unit, and I'll show you where I store my other water. So here is just the other side of where the RODI unit is mounted to the wall. This is my mudroom. So I've got four RODI water jugs here that I use strictly for just top-offs. And then down here, I usually have three of these five gallon buckets. This one just has RO in it. These are the buckets I use to remineralize. I've got one here that has um, GH and KH. And this one here is just KH. So depending on um, the species needs. These are the products that I use to remineralize my water. Um, so if you don't have an active substrate, um, I would go with the GH and KH. The KH will help stabilize your pH in the water. And um, for my shrimp tanks, I have Caridina shrimp. I mineralize with just the GH. Um, I'm using ADA aqua soil, so it tends to want to bring the pH to a specific level, and if you add the KH, it's going to deplete that um, soil and it won't function as it should. 
yeah, one day I'll uh, make a video when I remineralize my water just to show you guys that process. I figured I'd just share this info. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful day. See you later.